all of you, they don't want you. <laughs> Some of you must change your characters. Oh, you hear me? Some of you, the reason why they don't want you, you must change your character. But the lady that I was searching for is this one. This one. You, this one. The one who's wearing a black skirt. Yes. Thank you, Lord. All of you go and sit down. Or come here, let me pray for you. Mama, the people of where you're married, you must be careful, huh? Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. You must be very much careful. Amen. Because this can end up bringing death. Oh, you hear me? Amen. And you must tell your husband that this issue of the business, it will come back again because everything went down. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Go and tell him that God will restore him. Is he? And you, huh? Is here. We'll bring him. Oh. Say, today is my day. Today is my day. Say, everything went down. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Everything of your business went down. Everything is down. Huh? Everything is down. Especially the beginning, from the beginning of this year, going down. Everything went down. Yes. There's a plan of a bikey. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. That comes to your mind, but the problem is money. That's very true. The problem is finances. I'm just seeing a plan of doing a business of transport. Yes. Huh? Yes. So now, after I pray for you, don't yes. worry, God will honor you. But That's you true. need to be together with your wife. Amen. Because of the problem of the family. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I'm seeing your brothers here. I'm seeing some people here. That yeah. you people, you must pray for them. Thank Are you hearing me? True. Otherwise, one person can die here. One person can die, but we cancel death in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Are you hearing me? Amen. And I'm, I'm just hearing that there's also issues of property. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. There's a plan of buying houses, renting them out. Huh? That's very true. And there's issue of Johannesburg. Yes. Huh? Yes. There's this issue of Johannesburg. It's like you people are staying there now. Yes. Huh? Yes. You will move from there. You will go to another property. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Lift up your hands. In Jesus' name. Lift her up. Lift her up. What are you doing there? Huh? Jehovah, read the pile. Read the pile. I'm Emmanuel Lamini. I come from Zimbabwe. I've been here for 10 years. This is my wife, Saziso Lamini. And, and can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy that we received today is that my wife is not liked by my, my I mean, her in laws. So there is a danger that they might you know, kill her or do something bad to her because they're not in good books with her. That is the prophecy that we got. And secondly, um, we've been planning to do a business of buying houses and renting them out. And so far we've bought two. We're trying to go ahead and buy more, but things haven't been doing well um, since beginning of this year right up to this very time. We, we went through a very difficult time. Um, 
even one of our children who had finished his degree in last year, she graduated, he graduated in March. He got ill, he was salivating for the past uh, six months. And he, he's just got better now because we brought him here for one-on-one. -on -one. And the car had accident twice. It had accident when she was driving and when I was also driving. And we've been, you know, having these attacks. This uh, whole uh, year, it's been a very difficult year for us in terms of finances and everything. And these challenges, how were they affecting you? Uh, they were f affecting us uh, psychologically because we, we didn't know how to, 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 to go along with our, our, our projects that we had planned. So everything came to a standstill. Right now, we still have debts. Our, our children are, 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 are owing the schools where they are, they are learning because we, we, we couldn't afford to pay even the, the fees for our children. Yeah. So we're even struggling to come to church just to get fuel to come to church. It, it was a problem. We're skipping church sometimes. Yes. And now that they've prayed for you, what is it that you believe God uh, will do for your family? No, we believe that whatever the prophet said is going to come to pass. And we, we know that from now on, uh, I think our business will come to, to, to light again. And things will work out for us. Yes. Mama, can you also confirm the prophecy? I confirm everything that the man of God just said about my my husband's relatives they don't like me we are not in good books we talk because they are my relatives but you can see that there is tension they and there are things that we are hearing that they don't like me and my children and now that you have received deliverance for your family how are you feeling I feel relieved and I know God is going to open up the way for us, for the business and for my relations with my in-laws. I know everything is going to work according to the word of God. I'm seeing your dreams, huh? Are you hearing me? I'm seeing animals. Are you hearing me? Yes. It's like when you're sleeping, they're sending different animals to you. Huh? Yeah. Yes. And sometimes you feel like there's something in the room there. Oh, you hear me? Yes. So let's cancel the spirit of death. Out! Ash, continue, Pastor. My name is Violet Marinde, and I'm coming from Tembisa, Son 10. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, the prophet told me that there are different animals coming, into, coming to me when I'm sleeping. And then this is the spirit of death. I confirm this to be true because since for the past two weeks while I'm sleeping, when I wake up, I feel tired and also more dreams of eating in my sleep. So I confirm it to be true. And how was this affecting you? This is affecting my body. I'm always tired. My body is always tired. And like actually, I can't tell where is the pain. All over my body, my body is heavy. Yeah, even today, while I was sister there, it was also heavy. Yes. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? Now I'm feeling better. I'm feeling light. Yes, I'm feeling light. I'm healed. I thank you. I thank the Lord Jesus for delivering me today. Amen. I want to pray for you. Are you hearing me? Yeah. There's something they've put here. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Which language do you speak? Tivenda. Huh? Tivenda. There's an attack here. Are you hearing me? Okay. There's a spirit that they've used. They are using it to monitor you. Are okay. you hearing me? Okay. You must pray against the spirit of high blood. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So that, you know, you must not die before your time. 
Okay. So, but God will fight for you today. Musa is your guy. Oh no, yeah. Huh? From Shumut. Jesus mighty name. You're free. Thank you. Uh, my name is Cedric uh, Rosani. I'm from here at Mbisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Yeah, the prophecy I received is true because I just feeling the burning on my chest. Mm. And for how long have you been feeling this? It's quite long. Mm. And now that they've prayed for you, are you still feeling it? No. I'm free. Amen. Mm. Where's your husband? Your wife is not happy about what is happening. Mm, this one. Oh, you hear me? Mm. There's a spirit that wants to steal you. Oh, you hear me? Mm. You must be careful of alcohol. Mm. What? Mm, there's it. Huh? Because it and this Are you one. not drinking? Ngamanda. Ngamanda. Mm. Clap hands for this man. <laughs> you know, these are people that must go to heaven. Because when you reach before God, there's no time of lying. Oh, you hear me? Tell your neighbor and say, when you reach before God, there's no time of what? Of lying. So I want to pray for you. Oh, you hear me? Amen. I want to pray for you, but this is killing your wife. Oh, you hear me? Mm. This is really killing your wife and it's killing your relationship also. There are some people that you need to go away from. Mm. Huh? Mm. I'm just seeing some funny friends. That around you, you need to leave these people. And if you leave these people, God will be able to lift you in your career. Amen. Because now things are slow now. Very slow. Oh, you hear me? Mm. Things are stuck. Mm. So if you leave this issue of alcohol, you concentrate on your wife. A breakthrough will come now. Amen. So you hit people with fists. Uh. Huh? Uh. How, how are you going to be strong when you are, you are drunk? You have to go and beat someone. I mean, they will finish you. You understand? Yeah. Because this alcohol is making you weak. So today you must leave it. God will bless you. Amen. Sister, you're staying in Springs? Huh? Yes. You're staying in Springs? Yes. You don't want to move from there? <laughs> I do. Huh? I do. You must move in Jesus' name. It's not a good place there. <laughs> huh? And you must be together with your husband. Because I'm just seeing your heart, you're complaining. You hear me? About finances. So don't worry, God will, God will settle you. that stomach. Leave this stomach, you demon. Come out! You see? Look, you see what your husband is doing? Out! Out! Mm. This is a demon. The plan is to destroy your house. Come out! Out! Come 
come out. You're free, stand up. So from here, no more beers. Amen. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes. When you leave this place, go and leave these friends. Because they are the ones that are making to drink. Yeah. Uh, Chipewa Mnyai, Vice Prince. This is my wife, Pumuzo Ramabran. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, it is true. I was drinking a lot, me especially for the last three months. I was drinking, really, really drinking. And I was so far from my cousin, I was to the point where I was bad last week, which was some of the people who were And And what made you to start drinking? That's you know, I was then I will drink and stop, drink, stop, drink, stop. I was not going to be able to stop. And how was this affecting your marriage? Uh, I'll drink in this way. And then it's just called the That means it's called the water. And now that the man of God has located you and prayed for you, how are you feeling? And what is it that you believe God will do for you? Mama, can you also confirm the prophecy you received today? The, the prophecy is so true. <laughs> he was drinking very bad, even though I'm laughing because I'm happy. Yes, he was drinking very bad. Like when he's drinking, does he doesn't want to think of anything. Yes. And... He, he loved to spend time more with his friend than his family. Yes. And as his wife, how was that affecting you? It was really affecting me because sometimes I was sick, I was thinking too much, and I thought like maybe I must move from this relationship. Maybe it's not from God. I was starting to think many things. Yes. And when the man of God located this challenge, how did you feel? Yeah, I was happy. I was very excited. And what is it that you believe God is going to do for your family now? To restore this relationship, this family, and I hope everything will be fine again. Yes. You'll marry. You'll marry. You'll marry, sir. Stand up. The reason why this woman left you, are you hearing me? Yes. Because everything was starting to scatter. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So you can sit down, sister. Everything was starting to scatter. Everything was starting. It's like you had money and you're losing everything. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So now God will give you a right partner. Okay. Not this one who, who loves you because of money. And, and after God gives you money, you must never, you must never allow her to come back. Okay, thank you. Say amen. Brother, after God gives you money, you must never allow this woman to come back. Amen. And from here you'll see everything, because there are some certain things that you've been writing down. God will do them. Amen. Even a car, it will come. Amen. Na Ernest. Ernest Marinze. We are Ivory. And come let me do come from the same jelly coy in the month. Let me tell me to confirm. All right. Then jelly curry, kulaga curry in Chada, and then I'm on the na nyaka ni na kulaga loka afam ba nenga mfumele likuri atela bu ya curry monwe angana ranzela male. Yeah. And magale, I I I am commanja. I can come back from long time ago. And let's bang up Kongele la miti tuan janise. Miti tuan kuruleki le moye no amina. Eh, let's miss them. Bagus kumbista me entela so na kang karosis. 
Natemba kuri ndamkumu nda ukuma mshadu wa nyuwani lu mwata nkomaka wa tlikusugara posto la ndrisi Antandazeri le nasho kukuri sita umelele le sanga njela soona ya mkwasu Amen Listen There are some demons that visited you Are you hearing me? Because from there you don't know what happened with your pregnancy Huh? Amen. It's like some people just came and took it. Or some just seeing a spirit of snakes that are visiting you all the time. Are you hearing me? Amen. So, but today God will deliver you. Even marriage now will come. Amen. Lift up your hands. In Jesus' name. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, the prophecy I received today it was true. I was pregnant and then I went to the doctors. They told me different stories. Others they said I got miscarriage. Each other they say they don't see what is happening. So they, I, they need to give me the pills to clean me and that. So I also went to the doctor this week. The doctor also said uh, he doesn't see anything. So I must come back on Friday for checkup. And how was this affecting you? It's still affecting me because I'm not sure what is happening, whether I did get a miscarriage or I still have the baby. So I'm, I'm confused at the moment. And now that they've prayed for you, what is it that you believe God will do for you? I believe for a miracle and I believe for positive results as I'm going to see progress.